unbelievable, my lovely, wonderful people. CEO uh, Godwin Akbabio has been given seven days to halt 110 billion naira on bulletproof cars and others. So they won't spend 110 billion on bullet on bulletproof cars. Godwin Akbabio and the rest of them. Why Nigerians? They say Nigerians they go through a lot too, but they want to buy bulletproof cars for themselves. Wake up and welcome to the country. Gordon himself, uh, who is the Senate president and the deputy president, president they want bulletproof cars for themselves. And uh, this is what is happening right now. Nigerians, when they watch, when they see him, honestly, sincerely, it is very shameful to mention, but if you, the things that are going on currently right now today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as we get all the details. Godwin Akbabio given seven days to halt the 110 billion naira bulletproof cars for himself and others. The social economic right accountability syrup has asked the Senate President and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Godwin Akbabio and Tedro Abase, respectively, to halt the planned spending of 110 billion naira on bulletproof cars. Can you imagine you know, a palliative for themselves and members of the house? The group made this known in a statement on Sunday by its deputy director, Kola Wale. Syrup asked President Bola Metinubu to make a fresh supplementary application bill without the inclusion of 110 billion for cars and supplies to lawmakers. The group stressed that 110 billion can be used to address the problem of out of school children. Syrup described the, the alleged information as a breach of public trust. Syrup said the 2022 Supplement Appreciation Act to reduce the budget for the National Assembly by 110 billion reflects the current economic reality in the country and address the impact of the remove remover of the fuel subsidy and over the 100 and 137 billion poor nigerians who are currently feeling the hurt of what has gone on today president bola metinobo should present a fresh supplementary appreciation bill to redirect the 110 billion to address the situation of the over 20 billion out of school children currently in nigeria today for the approval of the national assembly rather than giving themselves more acronyms for their failed presentation of themselves as leaders in the country so this is what we are currently having and experiencing people who should be burying their head in shame are raising their heads and are walking you know, stylishly and feeling or proving to them, behaving as if they are doing well. I look at them and I worry to my, and I ask myself, what exactly is going here, going on here? Why should people who should be burying their head in shame, walking about and presenting themselves as though they've done something worthwhile? You know how much you have failed this nation. You know what you have done. And then you come out and tell everybody that everything is all right. Excuse me. If we want this nation to be a better place, every single person will have to begin to bring in, you know, their expertise in ensuring that those who want to destroy the nation are not given the opportunity to do so. Every time we have an opportunity to change the course of what is going on and we refuse to, add, you know, to adhere to it, the truth of it is that some other persons will come in and they will take that which we should have honestly and sincerely, you know, face on. So it is important that we begin to, you know, look at things more critically and do not allow the same thing to hold us down. Nigerians, we really need, you know, the breath of fresh air. We need a turn of tables so that Nigerians can begin to enjoy the nation today. Those who come and tell us that um, they are, they, you know, they are leaders, see what they are planning bulletproof cars for themselves why the masses wallow in poverty 
People can barely feed. You don't understand. Guy enter town and may see how things be for people. People they suffer. Not be lad they tell you so. People they seriously and sincerely they suffer. Not be lad they tell you. People they suffer. But guess what? These ones they just they they're not able to do anything worthwhile to bring about a change in this country. Yeah, people are genuinely suffering. Genuinely and sincerely suffering. You know, so this is what is going on. And why nobody, you know, should be quiet and face, you know, and, you know, just be quiet and allow the same thing to go on over and over again. Nigeria is in a space, is in a state right now where we need, you know, true national transformation. Not just some yeye toko, not just some yeye talk. We need honest, sincere, truthful people who will come out and say it as it is, okay? So it is what it is. It is what it is. And we need to ensure that um, we are riding on, on the pedestal of truth without, you know, letting the same thing hold us back. Anyway, my lovely people, remember that you have a voice. So let us speak against everything and anything that will keep us down. Okay? This nation and these people, every one of us, we all need one another. And keeping quiet and allowing the same people who do not care for us to be the to be the, the driver of what happens to us, it goes a long way. Because if you if the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. You know, so these are some of the things that are going on now. And why we all should look at things more critically and ensure that at the end of the day, nobody is allowed to stay in the same place. We need to come out of the same thing. That has been keeping us, you know, for far too long away from reality and bring this nation to where it ought to be. You know, it is important that we begin to see things in a new light and ensure that at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes the nation it should be. Anyway, my lovely people, please don't forget every single one of us needs help. Every one of us. So for them to be doing it for just themselves and promoting just themselves and leave others you know, to, to, to suffer, it is not acceptable. It is not acceptable at all. It is not acceptable. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.